Um, hi, uh, subcourse TR0655, edition 4, Railway Rolling Stock, Army Institute of Professional Development. <clears throat> one, one, General, since the first steam power train operated in South Carolina in the late 1830s, technology, uh, technological advances in industrial expansion have continuously created new requirements for the railroad of this nation. Part of the railroad's answer to these problems has been developed with a special rolling stock. The scope of this text not great, right enough to include the many variations of superstructures of the railway car specialization has brought about. However, the most rolling stocks can be classified as either freight or passenger and placed into seven broad categories a flat car, enclosed car, uh, gondola, hopper, tank car, caboose, or passenger car. Each of these categories is thus discussed in the order mentioned. Flat cars. Supplies equipment that no need but protection for the weather are. They're often um, on flat cars. These cars, similar to the ones shown on top figure 1-1, one, one, are construed with either welder riveted steel wonder frames covered with wooden floors, state pockets are added on the side ends in the fat for the fasting tie downs to be kept and owed with the shifting the army uses the flat cars to um, transport such things as assault boats vehicles cranes lumber large crated loads cargo containers flat cars can handle 75 percent of the load limit of the concentrated loads and 100 percent of uniformly distributed loads several variations of flat car has been developed two of the most unuseful uh two of the most useful depressed center in the whole well hole um but these i uh, have no have the principal advantage of the provi providing advantage overhead clearance of the freight equipment and cannot be carried with the standard flat car the depressed center flat car is a portion of the floor between the trucks depressed is shown on the bottom of the figure one one well hole cars are also have the portion of floor depressed but with the depressed portion has been closed sides one three an enclosed cars cars completely nearly enclosed the freight that are carrying have many variations in their superstructure they also have the roofs and side ending doors and protect their contents from the weather other different types of enclosed cars the box car refrigerator heat of the car the stock car are most common box cars are unit uh, un until recently the box car was most widely used over all freeway equipment however they're becoming se secondary and useful of the flat to the flat car for example the automobiles were formerly transported in box cars now the current trend is to use flat cars with a double or triple deck superstructure to transport them more and more commodities are being shipped and prepackaged weatherproof with the f containers that are well suited with the flat car for the trailers that are carried with the piggyback of the flat cars as a result the box car is losing some of its popularity although Although the dimensions of the boxcar vary, although the dimensions of the boxcars vary, most of the AUs in the United States have interior length ranging from 40 feet 6 inches to 53 feet 6 inches. Side doors of these cars are at 10, 100 or are, are at 10 feet wide. A typical boxcar is shown in Figure One Two. Um, Refrigerator heater cars, the two special types of enclosed cars, the transport perishable refrigerator and heater car. Or refrigerator cars usually equipped with one of the three more basic cooling systems: chunking, uh, chuck ice, chunk ice, bri brine made of the crushed ice, salt, and mechanical cooling system. Heaters can either have a temporarily permanently heating system using charcoal, alcohol, coal, or propane gas for fuel. See stock cars. The principal difference between the construction of the stock car and the box car is that the side of the stock cars are slatted with air space between the to permit the free circulation of the air line for livestock. These cars are often either um, single or double deck varying depending upon the size of the animal to be hauled. Stock cars are us often used in ship to produce such uh, lettuce, cabbage, and then they also use the ship lumber brick tile um, that need no protection from the weather. 1-4 Gondola. Because of the wide variety of the freight held in gondolas, there is a design very greatly often referred to as the donkey of the rails. The gondolas may have um, high and low sides, either ends or side do doors, drop doors of the f in the floor. At the end of the car, the swinging side doors, depending on their construction, are referred to as the solid bottom, drop bottom, hopper bottom, side dump, or well hole. Gondolas are used to transport such things as steel products, lumber, brick, wool, or machinery. Large coal containers at one rail um, line in the United States has recently put into the operation a fleet of gondolas with white, all white interiors as aided in the loaders working at night. It seems that the crane operators loading the steel pipe, for example, have always 
Always have trouble estimating how far the loads were from the bottom of the gondola. Back interiors against for the dark night darkness, often no contrast. Operations were slowed down. Loads were frequently damaged when they were slammed in down too hard. Now the interiors are painted white while the special light reflecting paint loadings are night at night and faster in general or on la landing. Um, this is Gondola 105 Des Hopper. Designing primarily to haul coal, the hopper is similar to Gondola except for the, instead of the level floor, it has the floor of the slope of the end and sides of the hope hopper doors through the wide load can be discharged by gravity. The capacity of these cars ranges from 50 to 80 tons with number of hopper doors ranging from 2 to 4. That's a hopper. All right, the tanker car. Liquid petroleum products. The compressed grasses are transported in the tank, similar to the one shown in figure 1-3. This large steel tank is mounted on either steel underframe of the cradles resting on the truck bolster on the top of the train. One or more domes are constructed. The number that depends upon the number of the compartments. Usually one dome for each compartment inside the dome are open through which of the tank is fulfilled. The discharge of the contents usually through the wire pipes and hose fitted at the bottom of the tank. Cars designated transport semi-fluids such as molasses, asphalt, are usually Usually equipped with the heating pipes, tanks, cars have capacity ranging from 8 to 20,000 gallons um, with a variation of interior linings designed for the products that are intended for the containing plastic, glass, lead, and copper are a few materials of the line interiors. The tank and cars are usually required uh, a thorough cleaning before they are filled with a different product. Tanker car. One seventh caboose is a special car used for the last car of the train. It is designed to provide accommodation for the train crew carries such emergency equipment for the lantern signal devices. Cabooses have two of two basic design permit men riding within them observe the train operations. They either a raised glass copula or glass base and set aside with the doors today. Many cabooses are equipped with microwave radios that are provided with communication between the conductor and the caboose and the engine crew and the yardmen and the dispatchers. One eight passenger cars for smooth, comfortable ride for the Safety reasons are passenger cars heavier than the construction of the freight car. Built for the high speed services today, new commercial passenger cars are constructed out of aluminum stainless steel. This makes much of the light weight of the older ones. All cars are used as the passenger train, whether the mail or bag must meet the same safety regulations as those carrying people. Although the Army has cars of the transporting troops carrying guards with accompanying the classified shipments for the use of the ambulance services. The bulk is the rail equipment for the moving freight for the reason for this test concentrates almost entirely on freight car. 1-9. Summary. Um, the railway rolling stock is divided into seven broad categories. Flat car, in course car, gondola, hopper, tanker car, caboose, and passenger car. Many specialized variations in each of the categories have been developed and the trend in the design of the rolling stock has been modified equipment to meet the changing transportation needs. The open cars such as flat car, gondolas, and hoppers are used primarily to transport equipment and bulk products that do not need the protection of the, from the weather. With the development of the containers and the piggyback trailers, the use of flat and gondola cars have become more extensively extensive. The containers of the trailer often their own protection content from the weather perishable goods and cargo subjects of care damage of the weather and transported enclosed with the box car refrigerator car and the heater car stock cars were slatted sides used for the transportation livestock and produced the cars provided with the ventilation some of the protection of the weather tank cars are used with carrying liquids petroleum products compressed gases domes are found on the top of the tank generally one for each of the compartment the last car of the freight train is the caboose that carries the men from the train crew, as well as the emergency equipment is constructed with either the raised glasses of the copula, the glass bays, given with those of the caboose of the good view of the train operation. Now that they're familiar with the general type of the rolling stock, with its distinctive superstructures, you are ready for the description of the different parts of the typical railway car. And the next chapter discusses wheels and axles. Chapter 2, Wheels and Axles. Introduction. The variety of the railway car superstructures is numbered in the, by the hundreds. However, the parts of the making up the piece of the rolling stock are basically simple in the, every type of the car, starting with the rails building up to, upwards the first stop of the course as, as the wheels next in order to the axles, then the joining of the mating of the two wheels of each axle in a separate section is devoted for each of the other, of these and, and other mentioned. Two, section 1, um, two, two, general. The most probable important signal, uh, signal development of the history technology is the wheel transportation, particularly modern transportation was built around the wheel. It was until the events of rocket pro 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 propulsion that it began a secondary role of the specialized wheels over the development more than it has ever approached the tonnage ma ma movement capability of the freight car wheel. Um, when you listen to the sounds of speed train higher than the singing voice of its wheels riding on twin ribbons of the steel, you can can and no 
way to deny the urgent feeling of the power of the motion and the special wheels of the use of the railway cars carry the food um, from the world's bread basket feed were all materials of the hungry of the, uh, hungry of the mouths of the industry distribute industrial byproducts that even increase ex ever expenditure world market interest in the peace of prosperity the railroad wheel also has also been marking the war each time they become the militarized they carried out the mission rolling troops supplies to where they are needed and when the transportation officer becomes involved the highly special railroad wheel it will almost probably be used in time of the war it will need to know something about it and how it is made what can go wrong how much can be used and how to determine when it works is finished these things are explained in the, this section Two, three, types of wheels. Two principal types of wheels are generally used in the United States ca type are cast iron and raw steel. While the Army still has cast iron wheels on the equipment used only on the utility railroads inside the installations that are used in interchain service in the United States ended in 1967, both steel wheels are, steel wheels are worn one wear, two wear, multiple wear, designation the number of the times the rim after wearing can be restored by the original flange contour in one of the wearing of the wear wheels. One of the flange tread is worn with condemning the limits of the rim recommend thickness this is not get great enough to promote or uh, any restoring of the two wear wheel is restricted to once of the multiple wearing several times until the condemning limit of the one wear wheel is reached. The two main points are discussed in the section how to determine which the wheels defected, how to determine wheels limits, and first how the two paragraphs describe briefly the wheel himself and the pr um, process of the manufacturing conforming the Association of American Railroad Specifications, Foundry Practice Inspection, Testing, and Records. 2-4, the cast steel wheel, um, used only on, only for freight cars, cast steel wheels are made on steel melted electrical furnaces, wheels th um, fall into one of five categories, class U, untreated for the general surface where untreated wheel is satisfactory, class A, treated, treated for high speed surfaces, severe braking conditions but with moderate wheel loads, B, class B, treated with a high speed surface with servicing brake conditions at heavier wheel loads, class C, treated with the surface with the light braking conditions, higher, high wheel loads. Two treated for the service to heavier bar, bar, um, break, break, breaking conditions of the where off thread bar, um, brakes are used. The heat tra treatment classes A, B, C wheels include the treatment of the rim. Only wheels are preheated, reheated, or uniformly refined. The grain of the rims are quenched, and the quenching of the wheels are put into the furnace for the tempering to meet the required hardness and then cooled under the controlled conditions. One of the wear of the cast of steel wheels are still in service by the manufacturer has been discontinued. Two five the wrought steel wheels. No or new, next two um, wear and multiple wear wrought steel wheels are generally used in passenger cars high capacity engines and freight cars the one where it is lighter than the weight of the multiple wear of the wheel is designed used primarily on weight freight cars multiple wear wear wheels are used initially on passenger cars when and worn condemning wear limits they are turned down and restored original contour used in the freight service manufacturing two wear where wrought steels where where a wheel has been discontinued the steel is in the steel is in service marked at AAR 2W, the same. Five classes of cast steel wheels apply with wrought steel wheels. One wear, um, one wear wheels designed by the AAR 1W, the minimum of the thickness of one and one quarter inch. Multiple wear and marked AAR MW are the heavier construction minimum rim thickness of two and a half inches. The fundamental principles used by the, principles used by the manufacturer make the wrought steel and iron are similar with the different details. These wheels are made to in God's produce the open hearth hearth process. The steel manufacturer open hearth um, friends. Furnaces use only capacities of 60 to 100 tons. They require 8 to 12 hours to produce steady, ready for pouring from the iron and steel cap, steel scrap. With the furnace of the molten metal, the boiled thoroughly to destroy the impurities, to expel the injurious portions of, to obtain homogeneous steel containing 0.7 to 0.8% carbon. One of the most one of the molten metal is ready to pouring. One of the three methods is used to produce a block ingot steel suitable wheel shape as a wheel cylinder block is produced with a rolling of large ingot to the wheel. Bloom of 15 to 18 inches in diameter and then hot shearing cutting while hot it is suitable length and, and ingotten. Cast then cut out of the cold and proper length block of suitable wheel and then cast in the form of the an individual ingot. And after the ingots are poured in size they are called wheel blanks they are also rolled into the wheels while rolling, rotated in vertical horizontal plane. The wheels are after the rolling process straight plates which are coned and dimmed 
dished in a final pressing operation. At the same time, the circumference in the rim is formed of the true circle. The wheels are then branded an appropriate symbol and allowed to cool under the properly controlled conditions, pre preventing weak spots from forming in the steel. The manufacturing process of multiple wear ropes to real wheels include the additional heat treatment, either the wheel rim and tire rim. The treatment increases the hardness of the metal and causes the wheel wear to long wear long enough before reaching the wear limit. The letters R is for rim treated, A e is for entire wheel treated and a stamped wheel along the other information. Two six wheel markings. Both Castile raw steels wear markings to provide a skill observe with the complete information about the wheel. The markings also Although giving give general the same information are displayed differently on each type of wheel, cast steel wheel markings are hot stamped on the back of the face of the frame of the cast on the back of the plate of the wheel. According to the specifications given in the AR manual standards recommended practices, figure 2-1 shows the marking of the plaque plates with the wheel and let, letters in at least one inch higher than the markers show in the month. This shows you the tape size, the date of the cast of the month, and the date of the year, the manufacturer, the transcom plant, or serial number, um, the type of the wheel in class, and the capacity. The cast wheel uh, markings are hot stamped on, ba on the back of the face of the rim of the cast of the back plate of the wheel. According to the specification given by the AR manual, standard recommended to proceed practices the figure of the 2 1 shows the marking on the plate of the wheel and the letters at least one inch high. The mark shows the month of the figure of the 2 1 marking on the cast of the seal of the wheel, the date of the year of the casting, the manufacturer, the name of its plant, the serial, and the type of the wheel, and the class, the capacity of the car it can be used on. In figure 2 1, you'll see the type of the wheel and the class AARCS2. BR, these marks stand for class steel and two wear. The class B rim treated, untreated wheels, class U are not marked for class of type size. The paint stencil shown in figure one is shown in figure 165. Uh, wheels come from circumference for tapes and say size calibrated increments in one inch used in the measurement. Taping wheels, and it's important to ensure the wheels mounted on the same axles have the same diameters. All right, your one year one year wheel has the month year branded serial number, heat number, and the AAR one stamped on the back face of the wheel. Multiple wear room is stamped on the back face of the wheel with a month year brand serial number, heat number, and class of the heat treatment. Wheel markings of raw steel are sometimes different from one one to multiple wheels um, wear wheels marking making marking marking for each of the explained in those following subgraphs shown in tag figure two two marking the raw steel wheels and one or more wheels of the month of the year and the wheels manufacturer brand and the manufacturer the manufacturer serial number heat number identification mark is the AR one W that are stamped on the back face of the wheel rim and approximately one fourth of an inch from the inner edge of the rim. On uh, AARMW wheels, the month and the year, the manufacturer brand seal number, the manufacturer heat number, and the class ABC uh, or along with the method of heat treatment or stamps on the back face approximately one fourth of an inch of the edge of the rim. The method of heating the treated mentioned here in the preceding pro paragraph classes the wheels and cut mark together these following lists show, cla shows the class these marks what they mean. AR class A means rim treated, AE class A entire wheel treated, BR BIM, class B rim treated, class E BE. Um, class B E entire wheel, wheel trimmed, uh, treated. Class C R class rim, uh, class C rim treated. Class E C E class E um, class C is entire wheel treated. Note that the class U is untreated wheels and are not marked for class. Two seven limits of wear of the wheel. The defects now that you are familiar now that you are familiar with them. The type of the wheels we were ready to examine how much of each of the wheel may be worn before it is removed from service, restored to the original contour. The next paragraph describes the first wheels and the using the measuring wear and the def par different parts of the wheel. And second, the most common defects found in the cast steel wheels. And third, in the raw steel wheels. 2-8 gauge is the tool you'll find in the amount of the wheel wear the extent of the defects of the gauge. Only four gauges are described. They're most frequently used. The other uses um, you might have to use wearing inspecting wheels, especially new ones. The number of the inspection you can tell from its long name is the gauge that is called the wheel defect worn. Coupler limit worn journal collar. The journal villa is shown in the top sketch of figure 2-3. Throughout the rest of the discussion on the wheels, the gauge is referred to only as the wheel defect gauge and later the parts of your text. So the and other uses you use explain um, the wheel defect gauge is usually main on, mainly only cast steel wheels and two other gauges tread worn whole hollow and out of the round measuring of the defect defects same names appearing in the cast steel wheels they are sketched into figure two three at the top you see the wheel defects worn coupler limited in the journal gauge and the journal fillet gauge with a fitted by the tray 
treaded worn hollow gauge and an out round gauge. Most of the inspection made with the broad steel um, wheels are made in one gauge with the steel wheel gauge shown in figure 2-4 and figure 2-4 the steel wheel gauge various defects are described in the next two paragraphs. We will see how these four gauges are used. Um, this shows that the, um, the gauge is 2.78 from the baseline, 3 eighths of an inch of the villa, um, uh, contour. Uh, defect wear limit of the cast steel wheels. United States military railway practice conform generally to the U.S. military maintenance specifications. Association of American Railroad defect wear limit of the cast steel wear wheels covered in the AAR wheel axle manual. AAR rule manual special symbol number for the marking the condemning the wheel defects. Successive worn wheels are given along with the name and the description of the defects. No attempt is made at the text to cover all impossible wheels and defects. However, that occurs the most frequently and discussed in the following subparagraphs. A slid flat when, um, rule 68 of the AAR symbol. 68 when the brakes applied with so much force that the brake shoe is pressed against the wheel hard enough to prevent the wheel from turning the wheel slides in on the rail the wheel are in contact with the rail and smaller than generally rapidly because of the great amount of friction between the wheel and the rail the area of the wheel in contact with the rail is worn off quickly and leaving a flat spot which and depends on the distance of the wheel slides once the brake brakes brakes are released the wheel is free to move and the slide flat slid flat spot lengthens itself and with in each rotation of the wheel a wheel of the slid flat defects at two and a half inches the length of the two or more adjoining spots over even each each two inches over is condemnable, although the slid flat defective of two and a half inches is not considered dangerous it causes the car to ride roughly and damage the rails. These are reasons for the side flat defects of the wheels under the passenger car is limited to one inch and one inch in length to measure a side slid flat spot. A wheel defect gauge is used and shown in figure 2-5. The wheel gauge defect shown in 2-5, the flat space. Shell out, um, rule 71, uh, AR symbol 71. Although the true case of the shell out defect has not been defined, it's probably caused by the foreign material in the wheel tread. The name of the defect derived from the fact that this look somewhat like an inverted outer sh oyster shell in the higher center. The same gauge is used in the slid fat defective with the same measurement condemning the wheel to further future passenger service. The same rough riding rail damage occurs within the defect with, with the slid fat defect. Seems rule 72 AR symbol 72. Um, seems the manufacturing defects of the running length wide the wheels cause the either the flange of the rim of the wheel to break off. Any seems defective with the three and three quarters of an inch of the flange to condemn to the wheel with the further service part of the wheel is in the seam of the defects as shown in figure 2-6. This is the same defect. Out of round, um, rule 73 AR, symbol 73, although not dangerous, an out of round defect under uh, desirable because of the damage it causes the equipment to track and lighting when the car is under the traveling of the high speeds when the flattened area, the, regardless of the cause of the excessive of 364 of an inch within the arc of 12 inches, the less measured in the center of the tread where is condemnable in figure 2-3 shows the application of the out round gauge wheel of 33 inches in diameter wheels of larger diameters must be gauged out of the round gauge is made made especially the wheels of the diameter over the size the wheels are which of the gauges made and it stamps on the gauge. E, a vertical rule range, rule 74, AR sample, symbol 74V. The, inverted, the inserted sketch is shown in the wheel defect applied with the flange of the new wheel noted with the spot marked on elimination limit, limit point. No, do not, does not take the point of the flange as wheels to ride to the rail. The friction tends to wear down the flat and inside the vertical surfacing of the flange creating the defect called the vertical flange sharp flange. The sketch at the top of the figure 27 shows the wheel defect gauge applied with the flange wheel worn vertical. Note that their gauge limits have now touches the flange. There are two limit limits and points of one inch limit and seven eighths of an inch limit as seen used in two different car capacities less than 80,000 pounds or 80,000 pounds or more. The chief danger of the vertical um, flange defective is the flange may split and switch. Um, the wrong side of the switch point, the derail, the equipment breaking the switch point on the car is less than 80,000 pounds capacity. The wheels condemned with a flat vertical surface. The flange extends one inch or more above the tread and thus touches just the gauge at the one inch point. This shows the limit of the gauge, uh, limit and the point of the gauge. On the cars of the 80 pound capacity, the wheels condemned with the verticals worn shown on the flange extending 7 eighths of an inch above the tread touch of the gauge at 7 eighths of an inch limited point. The figure of 2 7 measures the worn flange. Flange warns at rule 74 AR symbol 74 T. When the flange becomes too thin with the safety of the defect known as the flange worn thin, the principal danger of the defect is likelihood of the flanging chipping of the breaking off, the causing the equipment of the derail or riding up the switch point. Switch at the bottom figure of the 2 7 shown the wheel defect gauge being used to measure the 
the worn thin flange limited the wears wear of the defect of the same capacity range as the vertical range of the car less than 80,000 pounds capacity when the flange of the 15 16th of an inch less gauge at the point of 3 eighths of an inch above the tread the wheel is condemned on the car to the 80,000 pounds capacity more the wheel is condemned with the wear the thickness of the measuring of 1 and 1 16th of an inch or less of gas gauge less gauge at 3 eighths of an inch above the tread um, once again, you're taking the flange weight get depth. Flange worn and thin is rule 74 AR symbol 74T. With the flange become the tooth and safety defect of the donut, the flange worn sim. Principal danger to defects likely with the flange and chipping, the breaking off, the causing equipment derailing, riding on a, upon a switch point. The sketch at the bottom of the figure shows the wheel defect being used to the measure of the worn thin flange rim. Um, the limits of the wear of the defect, the capacity range of the colors of the vertical range on the car is less than 80,000 pounds. Capacity flange with 15 sixteenths of an inch. Thickness less gauge at the point of 3 eighths of an inch above the tread. The wheel is Condemned on the cars within 80,000 pounds or more. The wheel is condemned within the thickness of the range of the measuring 1 16th of an inch or less, gauged at 3 eighths of an inch above the tread. Combination tread defects rule 75 AAR, symbol 75A. Wheels may have a combination of shell out, splotch, flat spots, worn flange. When any of the combination of these occur, the distance of 12 inches measured circumferential tread, the wheel is condemnable even though the no single signal defect is given. The individual condemnable limitations of the combination of shell out spots of the 1 inch or more of the flat spots, 1 inch or more laundry than condemnable will illustrates the combination of the tread defects of the proper me measurement. This shows the uh, the tread defects and within 12 inches. Um, the tread worn hollow, the rule 76 AR symbol, the 76 tread worn hollow gauge shown in the figure 2 3 is used to measure the extent of the hollow wear. The figure also shows the proper application gauge of the wheel, the nipple, the mount of the button of the bottom of the center of the gauge that does not touch the tread with the front of the rear and the bottom is at the touching of the top of the flange to the top outside of the respect rim respectively with the flange worn beyond the condemning limit the figures 329 shows the condemnable wheel in if however the gauge rocks and back and forth out of the nipple is supplied with the wheel still safe in the surface of main inspector remove the tread worn down but they reach the condemnable limits because they will feel the dangerous harp on the track however the condemning wheels and the limits be reach the gauge with limits of the waist fully important note that very often one of the wheels is the tread of the worn and the remaining wheel of the other end of the axle has been worn and the flange develops because the hollow tread of the one wheel forms a false flange and tends to hold the flange on the opposite wheel against the rail constantly. All right, I a burst hub, a burst uh, rule 77 AR symbol 77. The uh, burst hub is the radical crack in the hub. The burst of the cracked hub occurs when the wheel is pressed upon the axle. The three causes of the burst hub: the defective excessive pressure, improper the wheel mounting methods, improper tapering, tapering of the wheel bore or the axle seat. Well, a wheel with a radical crack in the hub is condemnable. Um, this shows a wheel hub condemn um, and, and chip flange 70 rule 78 AR symbol 78. The wheel is condemnable if the piece is chipped from the flange of one quarter and a half inch more length of one inch of more than, and with the defect is caused by the flange striking guard rail those are frogs if the chipped area to large and likelihood the equipment of the derailment is great the condemnable weight of the chip flange defect is shown in figure 210 Cracked or broken brackets, the rule 78 AR symbol 78B, the any wheel that cracked or broken is condemnable because of the fix, quite likely to cause the wheel to fail, the collapse of almost invariable um, wheel plates crack from the inside out, not all cases of the defective are known, but then thin hard plates resulting from the improper model manufacturing process and chief costs is also when the excessive breaking is necessary, such as the, mi as the mighty of the figure 210 and the chip flange defects is meant needed in motion, mountain runs, wheels are subject to excessive stress and heating in the picture of the wheel. The crack plate is shown in figure 211. This shows the crack plate of the wheel. The broken rim L. L. Broken rim rule 78A or 78R. Um, minor chipping on the outside of the edge of the rim that does not impair the surfaceability of the wheel there. The limits, however, that cannot be exceeded in figure 212 with the methods gauging two types of broken rims. If the rim is broken, the slope of the breakage is inward and inward. Condemning a limit of three and three quarters of an inch from the flange measured across with the tread of the break of the vertical and sloping outward, condemning at three and a half inches measured away in the same way. Um, 210 the defects wear limited to raw steel wear uh, wheels. The material specification details defects limited to raw steel wheels like cast steel's wheels are um, published in the uh, AR. The rules are numbered. The AR symbols are given the defects of the following subparagraphs. This shows the flange um, weigh 
for raw steel iron. Burnt with flame, fl rim and flangible. If portion of the uh, rule 71 AR symbol 71A, a portion of the flange of the rim breaks of the course of the fracture of the rough granular surface, such as the wheel, should be removed from the surface of the course of the burnt, burnt rim and the flange defects overheating during the manufacturing process of the wheel shown in figure 213 as the burnt flange defect. The B shattered rim and flange when the um, rule 71 AR sim symbol 71, the portion of the rim of the flange of the part remainder of the wheel is smooth and the surface of the exposed the considerable distance is defects known as the um, shattered of rim flames of the wheels should be removed from the surface of a heavy coating of the grease should be applied to the exposed area to preserve the defect of the original defector investigation look at the figure 214 notice the difference in defect compared to the burnt flange shown in figure 2 um, spread rule rim the rule 71 AR 71 um, symbol 71C when the front of the back face of the rim spreads the figure 213 the burnt flange for defective outward the tread with the wheel has the spread rim defects as shown in figure 215 this condition usually indicates the interior defect um, spread of rim, um, cracks and threat tread. When the wheel should, um, should be removed from the surface, the condition investigated with the length of the spread rim defects are usually at 12 inches of the tread area it tends to flatten out so that it resembles a large slide defect of this ba believe that the same interior defects has been bo causes both in spread rims and shattered rims. Shell uh, tr tread, the rule 71 AR, cell, symbol 71E, the surface metal of the tread breaks down into the flight chips and the wheels of the shell, to the, shell the tread defect shown in figure 216 of extreme defects of the kind of the completely around with the circumference tread of the penetrating with the considerable depth when this defect is um, detect detected the shed wheel should remove turned on the wheel lath the cut hole the spotting of the three eighths of an inch deep should be made of the tread with the round nose roughing tool it is cut and skis the depth of the shell area and all treading flange should be shaped in the original contour shop. Spouting cuts of the um, fails to expose the deep depth of the shelving area of the wheel should be a set aside with the further inspection shell the area coated with the heavy lubricant. Thermal cracks, AR, um, rule 75, AR symbol 75, the extensive breaking of the pressure developing high temperature with the temperatures in the wheel tread thermal, the transverse cracks and result the re cracks invariable run right and in the right angles of the tread of the flange, they can occur when the bolt is shown in figure 2617, any wheels and defects must be removed in the surface because there is no way of determining the size of the cracks of the wheels, thermal cracks are highly stressed wheels that can weaken the structure of the one of them, the wheel, the point of the wheel will fail, often the piece of the metal between the thermal cracks will fall out of the resemble of the shell treaded defect the rough and cut of the shell be made on a wheel the thermal cracks where it will begin and cut exceed the depth of the ring uh, being turned on a lathe and depth of the running of the cut exceeding the depth of the crack which should be completely turned down and the tread of the flange restored to the original contour the roughing of the cow uh, has been de deep enough to reach the wear limits of the wheel before the depth of the thermal crack is right reach of the wheel must be discarded shows an in flange and an in tread crack the high flange, um, rule 76 AR, symbol 77 or 76, when the height of the flange is one and a half inches or more above the center of the tread, the wheel of the high flange must be turned on a lathe until the tread air flange is restored to the original contour of the figure 2-4. Shows how to measure the high flange with the standard shield wheel, ga wheel gauge. The tip of the flange torch at the horizontal part of the gauge is applied with its wheels and condemnable thin rim, uh, rule 79 AR, symbol 79. Wheels that have rims worn down three quarters of an inch should be removed. The fray surface wheel of the rims then as one inch should be removed from the passenger service if any of the wheels have to be turned in to remove the defects of the limits above the re reach of the process wheels should be removed and the surface out of the one inch of the limit of the passenger service is reached the wheel can be restored original tread flange contour use the fray surface until the condemning limit of three quarter inches of the item rim thickness is reached H crack plates um, rule 80A or symbol 80A um, crack radial crack plates wheel will almost always originate either from the hub of the rim showed to be reported the marked either the crack of the cracked rim um, either the de defect condemns the rim or the, for the surface or con con cir cir circumferential cracks were detected easily within careful inspection of wheels negotiated with two three inches will grow and the Cupid's bow crack shown in 218, the name of the derived bow shape that the crack t takes the two ends of the turn around toward the rim. Negotiated still longer to the crack will extend through the rim as shown in figure 219, the wheel, and will fail. Therefore, any of the wheel with the crack in its plate should be removed from its service. This shows the bow. The built up tread AAR symbol 107, the figure 20. Um, 220 shows the wheel with a built up tread of the defect caused by the one or two ways the part of the tread um, metal is dragged over the tread of the metal from the brake chute deposit with the tread wheel brake chute the metal the plastic state 
um, resulting in figure 218 circumferential cupid's bow fracture figure 229 219 circumferential crack through the rim for the high temperature generated with excessive brake pressure um, wheels of the defect should be removed to turn or restore original flange of the tread of the contour because the tread is irregular out of the round due to the raised and built up area this shows the crack through the rims and the tread um, 211 original contour and where during the proceeding of the discussion several references have been made to restoring the treads of the flange's original contour explained earlier and one of the wheel is discarded within, with when any of the one figure 220 of the built up thread wear limits reach it with any of the defective uh, detected the build bad enough to condemn the wheel however the multiple wear wheels is turned and reclaimed as many times as been necessary until the certain limits are reached figure 221 deck ram shows the tread of the flange of the lane and where the wheel is now ill and condemning limits of the wear um, this shows the wear limits, new tread, condemning limits, passenger freight cars, measuring line, and their inch thicknesses in critical line. You can easily see the small defect occurring with the tread of the flange. New wheel could be turned original contour to tread of the flange restored with the re of the, any of the several condemning limits. However, at any time of the limit is reached, whether it will result in the defects of the wear of the limit, wheel wheel must be removed from service again with the army limits. Again, with there are there are limits of passenger service. The limits of the freight service is quite possible to pass. Recommended that any wheel reaching the passenger service limit, not reaching the freight service limit, may be removed from the passenger and placed in the freight service until some limit is in, in its reach. Um, 212 summary. An important point of this section: the difference between one wear and the multiple wear wheels. When the defect serious enough, to win when the wear, li wear, wear limits have been reached, with one of the wear limits that they are discarded to have the multiple wear limits, wear, wear wheel limits may be reclaimed, but the turning them out of the lays of the minimum wear limits of the reach of the defective forces for the removal of the surface of multiple wear allowed for the when the wheels on the being freighted and freighted surface of the wheels may be removed from the passenger and used in the freight surface until the limits of the worn have been reached and by the later services will be able well, to determine where the wheels should be removed from the surface to reclaim you must know how to uh, recognize the defects and be able to measure the extent of the defects and the amount of the wear through the proper application of the right gauge the some of the wheel defects re um, result from the faulty manufacturing such as seams cracked with broken plates burnt rims or flanges and spread rims other comes from um, where, for example, sides, flat spots, thermal cracks for the excessive braking, and bur burst hubs. For improper wheel manufacturing, mounting chip flanges from the flange striking guard with the rails and the frog for the cast seal, many defects measured with the wheel defect, tread worn hollow. Outround gauges measured the defects carrying out the same name, the seal wheel gauge used in inspecting measuring mount defect of the wrought steel iron on wheels. Each time the wheel under the freight car turns the wheel adjacent into its opposite rail is also turned the same amount. The reason and for this is because of the solid fixed connection between the wheels and the axles. Axles are objects of our studies in the following section. Alright, section 2, axles. You see A is the end of the collar, B is the length of the journal, G is the diameter of the journal, I is the wheel seat um, diameter, and uh, K is the diameter of the axle. General, general axle um, car axles have two principal functions. They have hold the wheels of the track gates that can transmit with the weight of the car and the lighting of the journal bearings. The wheel of the figure 222 contains the drawing shown in the part of the also design of the fraction bearings. The figure 223 shows the parts of the axle designing the roller bearings noted in the figure 222 at the end of the class are designated. You'll find the missing of the axle diagram in the figure 223, both kinds of the figure 222 axles with friction bearings, 223 axles with roller bearings, bearings for against the journal which have been fixed to the size of the relation of the loading the rating of the particular axle design and table 1A or axle designation are given along with the axle size the corresponding load for rating of the new passenger car axles when trains have to run up to speed of 85 miles an hour is above 85 85 miles an hour for example the AMR axle at D has a journal of five and a half inches in diameter to 10 inches long the axle load capacity is rated at 34,000 pounds at speed is up to including 85 miles per hour however the 86 to 100 miles per hour is capacity rated at only 32,000 pounds based on the AR axle designation A through F or there are three basic types of the axle each type of description prescribed markings dimension where new limits and possible defects that cause the axle to become where drawn from service these are explained in the service of the ordering the mention um, here is an axle with I is your um, wheel seat diameter and K is the diameter of the axle um, a or A axles A, B, C, D, E, and F and G, size ranging from 3 quarters of an inch, 4 and a quarter inch, and 8 inches, 5 by 9, 5 and a half by 10, 6 by 11, 6 and a half by 12. From um, uh, up to 80 miles an hour, um, 2500 from A, B, C, D, and E, F, F, 
um, 12, 52, 20, 50, 27, 100, 30, 40, 42, 50, and 5,100. Um, 86 to 100 miles an hour carrying capacity loads from A, B, C, D, E, and F. Um, it's 12,000, 19,000, 2,500, 2,550, 32,448, 000. Um, 214 types. There are, types of, there are three types of a our axles are used on freight of the passenger. The first is the early to design a solid axle using the friction bearing. It has a collar inside of the each of the wheels a seat called the black collar. The second co um, type of the design in 1940 with no black collar in the raid with the wheel seat that is used either in the friction of the roller bearing. The chief difference between the two ways of the wheel journal is designed. The third is the tabular axle may be used in the either the friction of roller bearings. These axles are in their new dimensions are explained in paragraph 216. 215. The markings of the axle are made on the cold stamping the lemon and letters not less than one quarter of an inch higher than one of the three ways on the friction bearing journals used in the, on the freight cars. The markings are made on the face of the end of the collar on the journal bearing of the journals used in the freight of the cars. The axles are marked on the journal end of the marking of the axles used in the passenger cars having the roller bearings that are made around the outer rim of the journal ending. Each of the three ways of the marking of the axles is shown in figure 214 in the number of the notes the legend explained in the following subparagraph. There are no notes numbered from 25. The laboratory acceptance of the stamp note 1 of the seal is in each of the heat of the group of the axles, laboratory test for the chemical compositation, physical properties, and sealed materials of the AR specification of the axles are stamped as approved. B is the manufacturer name of the brand and note 3. If, for example, the patent trade the name of the Rally Associated Seal Company or RASCO, these letters are would be stamped as shown in the below the date. See the date note, the number 4, the month of the year the axle was made, and shown, for example, that if the axle was made in September 1964, the number of now is um, 964 would appear. The grade of the, of the axle noted in the 6, axle of 3 grades designated with the letter U, D, F, and the letter U indicates the untreated D indicates the, uh, that has been treated with an annealing process of so F, meaning that has been, axle has been normalized, tempered, and reheated with reformed standard design. Heat, heat number number no seven each ladle of the molten steel is called heat and given with the number of all exact axles made for, the, for this one uh, axle markings have a have the same near, no, number stamp, stamped on them one of the most important reasons for recording the heat of the number of whenever the the axle fell, found in the manufacturing defect that attributed to the improper heating of the forging. All axles, axles serving the number inspected with the same defect removed from the service. The manufacturer keeps the record for all axles heat number than consumers who purchase them. F mounting date number the number note eight D, note eight the date of the wheels mounted on the axles given with the month of the year opposite end of the axle the date of the manufacturer G the point of the mounting of the note of the end. Note 9, the place where the wheels are mounted upon the axle and stamped on the end of the opposite of the place of the manufacturer. However, the manufacturer mounting may be done on the same place. The manufacturer's name of the brand may appear on both ends of the axle. H, the serial number, note 10. If there are any one of the numerous axles made, if the customer specifies each axle is given a serial number, the number is one uh, is on the opposite end of the axle of the heat number. Um, this shows the notes and the number on the rims. Um, laboratory... 216 new dimensions. AR wheels axle pro panel provides the dimension with the axle, including standard dimensions. This is the new axle dimension for each of the three types of axles are explained in separate subparagraphs. Standard A, standard freight car axle, although most of the new freight cars built in the commercial railroad in the United States axles designed for the use of the rolling bearings. The majority of the axles use military roads in the foreign country. The black collar solid axles designed for using friction bearings. The axles do not long as long as though the design of the roller bearings because the journals wear more quickly. However, it requires less Less maintenance skills and less exacting inspection. The two tables two shows the label diagram of the axle along with the new, new dimensions for it. Notice the curved surface in the exterior, interior, and the dust guard collar and black collar is marked in 1R and 3 quarters of an inch R. These marking establish the curvature surface of defining the radius of the curve that would make it a complete circumference was um, drawn. For example, the interior curved surface of the black collar was marked 1 inch radius. This curved surface with it was con continued for a full 360 degrees. Degrees. The radius of the circle was established and would be one inch. The diameter would be two inches. This shows the length of the uh, end collar length of the journal, dust guard collar, the black collar diamond, the journal wheel seat diameter or axles, radius of the road surface limits, shop limits, and new dimensions. The passenger car example ex axle is 1940s design and the solid friction roller bearings. The principal difference between the 1940s design axle early standard axles, absence of the black collar and the raised wheel seat. The figure 223 is the gram of the 1940s design design passenger car designed for the use of the roller bearings of the table 3 contains a new dimension and notice the absence of the end of the collar roller bearing axle characteristic of all journal design roller bearings although the purpose of the tubular is to ensure in friction and roller bearing the dimension when new of the distance between the wheel of the seats of the tubular axle 
and table five, uh, sorry, table four, larger than the same dimension solid axles in table three. Note the diagram in the table four. There's dotted lines inside the solid and contour lines for these outline out surfaces of the house. Uh, hollow axle. 217 axle wear limits. Most of the, much of the wheel axle wear of the, wear of the axles take place on the journal because of the weight of the friction concentrated within the journal trends the wear them becomes smaller diameter larger. As the journal wears and the load limit decreases its reach of, um, as the point which is no longer safe and must be removed from the surface as the journal lengthens more of the lateral movement is permitted with the excessive side weight of the damages. The wear limits of the three types of axles are shown in table 2, 3, and 4. Comparable with these with new dimensions. You can see the axle um, wear and considerable critical twelve inch of all the are small, however the axle may be turned out of the layout to restore the original contours of the refinish the axle uh, the journal, the small scratches that are removed from the axle return with the surface with the defective surface and the other off to the axle must be removed to restore with any limit of the reach where it's reached and they must be scrapped. The following paragraph explains the axle defects. 218 um, defects. As wheel standard, the new axle wear limited defects is defined by the AR wheel axle. Some of the major and more frequently occurring defects explained in the following subparagraphs so AR symbols uh, given the axle is condemned with the appropriate symbols remarked with the identifying the defects with the cause of the removing of the axle from service. This shows your um, classification the B, C, D, and the E, and F. The journal sizes of the road surface is when leached and when less than. Shop limits and greater and less than less than the dimensions of the new dimensions. Um, this shows your road surface length shop limits for the classification B, C, D, and E, and F. A burnt journal, um, AR symbol 84. The burn depression in the country strikes at the surface metal of the journal wheel seats may, may cause the axle to become the break of the hot journal with the hot box. An axle the defective with the move from the surface to turn on the lathe to affect the cause of reach without the wearing limits. The axle may be turned to the surface if any of the wear limits given in the table 2, 3, 4 reach the exceeding of the axle scrape. The bent axle AR symbol 84A. All second hand axles should be checked for the lathe around its concentric. And centricity, um, taper the wheel sta seats in the journal as they have been dismounted with the movement with they should be scrapped unless the wheel seat journals can be trued and prescribed limits of broken axle. Any circumference will land that seems in any portion of the axle can cause it to break and the broken axle of the broken and collar of the must be scrapped. This shows your um, correct contour of the journal, the correct measurement and the incorrect measurement. This next one shows the uh, another um, the way to gauge the collar. Journals have reached condemning limits rather because they have um, reached the condemning of the diameters. Color worn to a limit of the AR symbols 85D. The dimension of the color thickness of the A, 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 um, for A and B axles are 5 eighths of an inch. C and D axle 3 quarter of an inch. And for E and F axle 7 eighths of an inch. When the end of the color axle reaches the 16, 3 sixteenths of the measured wheel defect gauge, the axle is removed from the surface. If the gauge will not fit on the color, the axle is condemned with the journal. Di G, the journal diameter um, worn limits the AR symbol 8060. With, with the normal wear through the returning of the diameter, the journal reaches the wear limit. The axle must be removed from the outer surface. From the surface, outside calipers will be used to measure the journal diameters. H wheel seat and um, worn below the limit of the outside of the caliper. Um, the AR68. Uh, sorry, 86A. Outside of the calipers are used to measure the diameter where the wheel limits. When the condemning limitation reach, the axles are removed from the service. 219 transition um, summary. Tr uh, transmitting the wheels of the car, relating from the journal by airing of the wearing, and keeping the journal gauge to the two function braille axles. There are solid axles used only with the friction bearing, solid tubular axles used with friction roller bearings, and all axles according to the load of the capacity established with the size of the journal axles. The smallest journals least to lead the capacity designated for the A, largest, heaviest capacity is designated F because of the tremendous this amount of the friction generated between the bearings and the journals. Much of the wear of the axle may be defective occurring with the journals. However, the axle does not do, not do bend and break. Collars, will, um, collars and wheels do become worn. Through inspection must be made with the axle, preventing axle failures. Hot boxes when the axle is found with the defect of the worn and condemning limits should be removed from the surface marked with the appropriate symbol that would be taken about the wheels as we discussed in axles. Now we read ex explanation, explanations on how the wheels match and mounted with the dismounted with the axle observed in final inspection section chapter devoted in these sections. Um, six and three wheels of an a on an axle, 220 with real, um, wheels on the axle. Um, 220 railway wheels are pressed on the axle with under high pressure. The fitted must be kept exact. The wheels remain in the seat with the axle with extreme stress placed on the upon it in service. Ensure the tight and fit, fit, tight and secure fit with the wheels must be selected 
and fit of the dimension with the axle upon that they are mounted on. The two wheels must be chosen. The particular axle must be also taken, match each other during the mounting process. The journal, the wheel seats, and the wheel bores must be protected with the lubricated with the preventing the damage that could develop into serious trouble later with the wheels. The axles placed in the surface of the wheels must be exactly centered to the axle exactly with the right distance apart, but they will not roll true. The unless the mount the wheels axles are going into the surface immediately, proper provision must be made with their storage, preventing damage, protecting them from the weather. Finally, since the multiple wear wheel will be removed, the restored and remounted provisions must be made with the dismounting of the wheel. This section explains um, each of such in the order mentioned. 221 matching wheels and axles. The two principal problems involved with the business putting in the right wheels and on the right axle. Select the right size of the board, the wheel from the axle to mount it upon to make the two wheels the right size and amount of wear. The wheel and axle, the proper selection of the right wheel, the proper axle. Particular axle is complicated with the time and the money spent is the following prescribed procedures pay off. The following practices are quoted directly in the AR manual axle wheel manual. Oh, one, select the wheels for the application of the axle with the involving minimum loss of the metal in the bore. Two, apply the new wheels whenever the possible. Second, high end axle with the reduced wheel seat is diameter. Three, apply the second hand wheel with worn wheels to the new axle. Second hand axles with the wheel seats nearly standard diameter. Four, if the new wheels have must be applied with the new axle, the wheel seat must should be di uh, standard diameter. Five, the second hand wheels with the bore largest to the larger standard the set diameter should be applied to the axle with the wheel seat not to exceed excess one eighth of an inch or within standard. B matching wheels. When matching two wheels from the one of the axles, make sure make sure um, be sure that they are same kind of type of the size of the now practical economical mounting of the cast steel wheels raw steel wear on the same axle because of the difference from the wearing of the characteristics. The same thing is true with one of the wear or multiple wear 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 wheels. The size is made with wheels should be nearly as same as possible. You certainly would um, would not match two new wheels with the different diameters in the like manner that you should like to have the two wheels with a similar amount of the wear we are left on the treads of the flange with the circumference of the same size. For example, if you were using multiple wear wheel outside steel wheels, you should pick one of the wheels and either the flange or the tread worn down with the minimum size to mate. Another wheel measurement the near the maximum the new dimension to pick two wheels with nearly the same amount of the wear left on them. Remember that the bore size must have fit the axle seat. If the match two wheels, you find the bore too small for the wheel seat. Also, reboard the wheel and do not return the axle wheel seat. You should try to avoid doing either when you are selecting wheels but if you cannot then find two of them match either or either each other or other or the same type of the fit the axle you must rebore the wheel 222 mounting the wheels for mounting the wheels on the two um, basic um, kinds of wheels mounting press are used a single end of the double end of the design each of them may vary to depend on the amount of the pressure is applicable to developing however the appropriating principle is the same from for before the wheels are held firmly in place and pressure with the ram from the forces and axle into the wheel board. The only difference is between two presses is the advantage of the double end of the press has over the single end. The mounted wheel of the axle must be completely removed. The single end press turn around and replace the press before the second wheel that can be mounted. The procedure not necessarily a double ended press which can press the axle on both ends. One wheel is the second wheel is placed on the opposite end of the axle and the ram forces the axle from the end position. And send an end opposite unmounted wheel. This type of the pres 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 press saves time and labor. The amount of pressure for the pressure press that can develop the varies between 200 to 600 tons. The reason for the greater the variation differential pressures are um, needed for the mounting of the wheels. Dismounting when the wheel the pressure used for the mounting has shall have the capacity of 200 to 300 tons. Using the dismounting of the needs of the 400 to 600 tons whenever possible to separate the pressure should be used. However, the, if you have only one from press, they should be higher pressure gauge of capacity. Each pressure should be have both a uh, dial pressure gauge and a pressure recording gauge. The later should be the mounted but separate from the pressure to protect it. From shock of the pressing operation, both gauges should be checked frequently to ensure that these gauges agree with each other. Master gauges are used in the uh, make the um, check. The same press is used. The mounting of the dismounting of the gauge should be disconnected before applying the higher dismounting pressure. Table five shows the maximum and the minimum pressure in the tons is required to mount the steel wheels for each of the axle classifications. Two twenty-three procedure of the wheel mounting. The process of properly mounting the wheels on the axle technical business requires highly skilled men to completely process it too lengthy and complex and include in the test. However, you should be familiar with some of the important procedures of the wheel mounting full. All the subparagraphs discuss the journal protecting cleaning boards with wheel seats position in the high spots of the flange, center wheels, and checking gauge. This shows the class of axles A, B, C, D, and E, and F. The journal size is the normal wheel seat diameter than the seat steel wheels minimum maximum. 
Protecting axle journals, a highly polished um, surface of the journal should be protected during the wheel mounting operation. The guard shall be placed over them whenever the possible, fitted with the dust guard collar. Also covered to prevent the guard from nicking and the scratching of the journal. There should be a made of softer material for the axle, lined with the soft materials, cleaning and lubrication. All injuries, uh, injurious um, materials such as the rust, grit, and chips and grease shall be removed from the wheels of the board. She wheel seat before the mounting of the operation begins. Both of the wheel seats of the wheel boards will shall be coated with lubricating consisting with a mixture of the most basic carbonate. Wheel, wheel, white lead, boiled, not raw, in um, linseeded oil. The lubrication prevents the scoring of the mounting of the surface of the wheels. Are started with the wheels and seat. The correct the end of the lubrication of the 12 pounds of the white lead, thoroughly mixed with one gallon of boiled in linseeded grease. The mixture should be made, made 12 hours before it is used. And only in a few days should be um, on a few days. Some supply should be mixed with the type um, because the linseed oil try, um, tends to be tried to allow the mixture to thicken and properly wheel fits and can and result in lubrication is too thick. And it is important that the dirt grit and prevented with the getting of the mixture or the brush are used to apply. This would notify that the cleaning process causes the scratch and mounting of the surface wheels to the boards. See the matching of high spots that normally use the flange wheels, developing the high spots. The high spots are not um, high enough to condemn the wheel. However, when they are remounted on the axle, the high spots should be in the mark, but they place on the opposite low spots of the mounting of the wheel. The high spots of the mount with the wheel will be mounted in the same place that would cause the bumpy roll. The center wheel, when the wheels are ma being mounted, they should be exactly centered on the axle, both during the mounting of the process and the completion. If the wheels are not properly centered during the mounting, if the board of the wheel scratches the gouge of the wheel, and if it is not observed, the correct of the wheel that mounted off the center excessive flange wear will occur and the wheels overheated with the journal will result several gauges have been developed to determine if the wheels are centered properly checking the gauge when the two wheels are mounted with upon the axle the most gauge exact distance match the gauge of the rail line with which are operated with the united states our rail lines and standard gauge 56 and a half inch gauge the gauge of the railway line distance between the top of the inside of the head of the rail since the wheel dreads are right in the top of the head of the rails the wheel flanges contact with the inside of the head you can see that the it is most um, must of the most of the wheels properly in the proper gauge. For example, if you were in the mounted the standard gauge rail, you mounted the two wheels on the axle so that the flanges were at 59 and a half inch gauge and part of the obviously would not fit on a new railroad. Several gauges used to check the gauge of the foot wheel of the axle. The figure 227 that I mentioned to check the gauge when the gauge is used on one of the um, wheels should be mounted with the gauge placed on the mounted wheels and held held over the wheel while it's slowly being pressed press on through the wheel seat. Whenever the gauge fits over the flange rest of the tread of the wheel is illustrated in figure 227. Figure 227 check the gauge of the wheel. Uh, wheels are found in the gauge. The mounting process is completed with the gauge should be tried to the three more equidistant points around around the circumference of the wheel. If the gauge for, fits properly at all points, the wheels are engaged and the axle is not and the wheels have been bored into the right line so that they are run in true service. This is your wheel gauge um, gauge of the track and your wheel flange gauge on the back. Um, 224 storing mounting um, wheel the wheels and axles. Once wheels have been mounted on the axles, they probably have been stored in a shorter long time depending upon how how soon they are needed to storage or shouldn't be large, large enough to permit several several uh, separations mounting of the wheel as axles should be arranged with neither wheel nor axles damage the contact with each other. Also wheels or axles must be protected whether from rusting sorting it is not a good practice to store all wheels axles together with storage areas large enough. They should be stored and grouped in accordance with the size type of the axles diameter of the wheels multi wear wrought steel wheels and should be separated according to the thick the rim's thickness. Storing. Um, both manpower and money would be wasted in the trouble and taking the turning examples polish of the turn wheels and match them in the mounting of the right of the wheel with the right axle properly on to store them on the tracks of the call roll over together with the chips the flanges um, nick journals break and bend the axle st storage um, tracks should be spaced with through the um, so that the flanges on the um, part of the wheels cannot be stroke strike either the journal in the center portion of the axle ac um, accidental ex adjacent axle if journal is nicked and it may cause overheated journal bearings at the high the wheel flange forcible strikes and thereby nicks the center portion of the axle breakage may occur offsetting the pores poor pair of the storage tra track six inches will prevent the damage threads will strike the hub of the next wheel as you can see in figure 228 cross-section of your gauges um Lubrication, highly polished journals, rust with left arm to protect it, even though the axles may be stored inside with the, out of the weather to prevent them from rusting. They should be completely coated with heavy lubricant rust prevented. They will not easily wash away with it can be rapidly wiped off or mixed mixture of paint have oily provided for the effective for the purpose. 
225 dismounting the wheels, the wheel press with the capacity of 400 to 600 tons, and necessary to dismount the wheels. The process is exactly reversed from the mounting of the wheels. The principle is the same. The wheel is held with the firm in place of the ram, force of the axle with the wheel. The biggest job of the dismounting practice is dislodging and tightening the wheel. Neither the wheel nor the axle should be ever heated with the torch to assist the loosening of the wheel. If any of the evidence used that the torch is found, the parts affected should be removed from the surface. The hole burnt in the wheel plate is shown in figure 229. It will cause the plate to crack and a wheel will fail and a burnt spell on the axle general cause the axle to burn or under load. Um, 226, the um, summary, putting the right two of the wheels on the right axle to make the complete with the ready of the service is a complicated process. The wheel selected must fit the axle match each other on the side of the type of the mounting of the process. Protecting lubrication must be given to those bolts, axle wheels, and, a and the axles with a high capacity pressure seat of the wheels, the axle wheel seats. Make sure that the unit will operate and the wheels must exactly center the axle pressure to the proper gauge once the mounting of the process is complete with the wheel and axle units are properly stored to protect them from the gauge. Damage and whether they are placed in the service elite. Finally, so in procedure, use of the mount of the wheels is used to dismount the expert, except for the reverse. The amount of the pressure required to dislodge the wheel from the axle is much greater than the required to mounting it. Um, let's assume that the wheel axle unit that we have developed and they are now ready to be placed in service. They are placed on the units called the track, the general term of the covering, the assembly, the part of the whole structure, shut ports of the car body at the each end. In the next chapter, we will see how the end of the car truck and how the truck constructed distributes the weight over the car and the contents of the axles uh, to the journals and the wheels and the, finally the rails. Chapter 3, Trucks.